Well, cars are getting bombarded in one part of the tri-state with eggs, not just parked cars, moving cars, blocking drivers from being able to see and causing some potentially pricey damage. Local 12's Luke Jones is live tonight in Fairfield at the scene of the latest egging with the story you'll see only right here on Local 12. Luke. Yeah, this latest one happened here in this parking lot two nights ago. A parked car pelted with eggs, leaving behind a sticky and smelly mess. There's still some eggshell right here. Janie Jones tried her best, but she still hasn't erased all evidence of Monday night's unauthorized egg extravaganza. So there's some yolk on the windshield wiper. This is what her windshield looked like a little after 11 when she came out of the mire on Gilmore Road in Fairfield after a last minute Christmas shopping trip. And I looked around me to see if there were other cars that had shells on them or anything and they didn't. But she soon learned it was nothing personal. Sunday night, multiple cars were hit while driving in Fairfield. A woman tells us eggs came flying at her windshield as she drove down Pleasant Avenue. Another driver reports the same thing happened to him on John Gray Road. And Fairfield police say they were called to a house on Celadon Avenue that was hit by eggs. Yeah, it was fun to get off in the cold at nighttime <laughs> and it might have damaged my paint a little bit so I was a little upset about that. Jones has good reason to be worried. Paul Schulte with Performance Paint and Dent says egg yolk can eat away at a car's paint, potentially leading to costly paint jobs. Wintertime it's not as bad for the egg yolk itself but the egg shells are like razors. They will cut the paint, they will cut down all the way to the metal. If an egg hits your car, Schulte says time is of the essence. You want to get it off as quickly as possible. I would say you're, you're dealing with matters of half an hour at the most uh, before it creates any major problems. Luckily, Jones's car appears to be fine. But from now on, she'll be keeping her eyes peeled, never knowing when the next egg could be headed her way. A little bit nervous, yeah, because, I mean, if it's random, like, what, what could people do next? And sadly, many of these egging episodes aren't being reported to police. Fairfield police took just one report on this, and that's for that house that was egged. We're live in Fairfield tonight. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. All right, Luke, thank you so much. Now, it may seem like a small-time prank, but fixing the paint damage can range from hundreds of dollars to over a grand. That's all depending on the extent of the damage. Just don't no, do no, it, no, no, people. No. Come on, use your head.